Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. In this segment, we're going to set up the units for a rack and pinion system. A rack and pinion system converts rotary motion into linear motion. In 1811, John Blinkensop, an English engineer, added a gear to a steam locomotive to increase the traction while traveling up steep inclines. Trains could now operate on grades above 7%. A rack and pinion system utilizes a rotary gear called a pinion and a linear gear called a rack. When the rotary gear connected to the motor rotates, there is relative motion between the rack and the pinion. The motor can be stationary and the rack travels, or the rack can be stationary and the motor and pinion travels. In the unit setup screen, we select rack and pinion. Setting up the gear ratio for a rack and pinion is the same as all other units. The ratio can be set up with motor turns to load turns or motor teeth to load teeth. Teeth per turns is the number of teeth on the drive pinion. Teeth per distance can be set for a single tooth equal to distance or a number of teeth equal to a given distance. In our example, we are going to set our custom position units to millimeters, our gear ratio to 1 to 1, and teeth per turn is set to 30, and 30 teeth equals 120 millimeters. At this point, we can set our position units to 3, custom mechanics dependent, which will return our position to millimeters, which is the linear distance of travel. Velocity can also be set to 3, custom per second, which is mechanics dependent. Velocity will be in millimeters per second. Acceleration can also be set to 3, custom per second squared, mechanics dependent. Acceleration will be in millimeters per second per second. In the motion task screen, the units will reflect as they have been set in the units screen. When setting up the motion, think linear motion. Rack and pinion systems are very robust and find their way into a lot of machining applications, but there's a lot of applications in which they can also be used. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I hope to see you in our next segment.